Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all doing well. And today we're going to be going over the mystery on why your cooling level and also my cooling level is dropping low. And for me, about a week of driving, my cooling level would be halfway. So with that, I'm not experiencing any type of leaks. My engine is not overheating. The hoses, it seem to be warm when I fill them. So I guess that means everything flowing like it's supposed to. So if you do have... um. I believe I know what it is, but if you do have any type of knowledge on this subject, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I mean, you never know who you'll help. Sometimes the comments can be more valuable than the video itself. So, you know, I always try to help somebody out. You know, it's about the community. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a combustion test to see maybe, just in case we might have a blown head gasket, and pray to God that that's not even the case. As you can see, I got no type of white smoke or anything like that. But we still gonna test it out just to see. Oh yeah, just a um, quick reminder. Like I said, you can get these from O'Reilly, you know, AutoZone. You can just rent them out. But you you also wanna make sure you check them before you um, get them. Yeah, I got one from AutoZone and it, it didn't allow any air to push in and push out like it's supposed to. So I ain't gonna have to, you know, take it back. I went to O'Reilly's and got this one. And I checked it to make sure the air were actually, you know, going in and out like it's supposed to. So make sure you check them. Just save you a lot of time. Okay, so I've been doing this right for about, shoot, three minutes at this point. Like I said, really make sure everything nice and still. And now I'm changing color. And that's definitely a good thing. I know you might not can't tell through my, you know, my voice, but it's actually a good thing. It just... You just want to make sure you get a real good accurate test. So, I mean, if it is that, you just want to go ahead and try to take care of it. And I'm actually going to show y'all, I'm going to head to the exhaust. And I'm going to use it on there just to see what it actually looks like if it was. But like I said, that's, that's, that's pretty blue. So right now we're at the tailpipe. I'm going to give it a couple squeeze to see what it looks like. If it actually get any type of fumes. Okay, as you can see with that, with the exhaust room, it's turned right into uh, like a goldish yellow. But like I said, I did that right there for about five minutes and it wasn't nothing. So thank God that, you know, it stayed blue. So that means we don't have a head gasket. So I'm gonna turn the engine off and I'm gonna show you what I believe it'd be the problem. Okay, so we did the cooling, I mean, not the cooling test, the combustion test. And Everything stayed blue, so we probably don't have a blown head gasket, which is good. So this is my theory, and like I said, this is something I came up with and it's something I noticed. Every time, every time when I use this cap, it'll be cooling around, basically around the rim. So what I think it is, basically, you know, system like this, it pressurized, stuff get pressured, like, you know, like boiling water. It turns into, you know, vapor. So I believe vapor was escaping throughout the seam of the top call my coolant to drop low you know over time so i went and bought another cap so this the new cap and this right here is the old so you see they got two different designs and to be honest i really can't tell you what's wrong with it i mean everything look good but i noticed with this top around the edges everything you know wet it was wet with coolant just like it was wet cooling around the edges of this and with this right here the one i just took off like I said, you see cooling around there, but you don't see cooling around, you know, the edges. Everything seemed to be pretty dry. So, with that being said, I just think it's just really the top. And a lot of people look over this, because, I mean, I almost looked over it. You know, you can go and get you a top for $13 versus $1,300 to, for them to break the engine down. So, just keep in mind, look at that. And also keep in mind, when buying cars, I don't know about just a regular dealership, but getting it from a used car dealer, I got mine for Torx Auto. They kind of sold me something that had a lot of little things. Everything ran good, but the CT sensor was messed up. They really couldn't tell me anything on why it was messed up. Blown, you know, they sold me a tire with a hole in it. But get you a mechanic, hire them for like $200 at the most, I'm pretty sure, you, especially you know somebody. Get them, you know, you got a scan tool, Get them to check it out. Check out the car itself. You know, they, they can save you a lot of money. Because, I mean, 
if you get a car and you spend, you know, a little bit of money, and you might just be buying somebody else's problem. So, you know, get you a mechanic to go to come with you if, if you know if they don't mind to try, you know, get them to take a look at it. But you know, like I said, this right here probably the problem just having, you know, the top itself. And yeah, if you have any type of experience with it, like I said, leave a comment. You never know who you can be helping out. And like I said, it's about the community. With that being said, you made it far. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, y'all take it easy.